Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a new craft update. So first I made this Molang plush and I didn't have a pattern for this so I had to make my own. And so this is what that turned out like. And I made this uh, plushie out of fleece so it's really nice and soft. Then the second version that I have is a little bit um, more flat and it's made using the same pattern. And then I just used some fabric paints for the details on the face. And then I had to adjust the pattern a little bit to make this panda version. So I just added like a black strip in the middle. And I really like how this turned out. And then the last plush that I made is this Mike Wazowski. And this is made out of felt instead of fleece. And then I hope you can see all the details on the face. So that's what that looks like. Then I made some charms quite a while ago and I have these glazed. So there's only three of them. So the first one is this brain slug from Futurama and it's just a little tiny charm like this. Next I have this zombie cookie and this is inspired by Dai Kawaii and I used some googly eyes to um, just kind of add a different feature to the charm but what happens to googly eyes when you put them in the oven is that they stop being googly so they just kind of look the one direction that they're in now. But I like this charm because I added some like grey and purple chalks into it to make it look kind of old and rotting and stuff so I really like this and then the last charm that I have that's glade is is this um, hobbit hole door so this is the front and then on the back I just painted in the details that are on the door and then for my tutorial that I uploaded recently I made some of these little um, octopods or octopi whatever you want to call them so I have three of these the green the orange and a purple one like this I also made another one of these and this one is just blue with a little bit of purple shading on the tentacles but I'm not sure if you can see that. And then the last one I made is this one here and um, these tentacles on the side is what the necklace is going to be attached onto and this is just made of black clay with some gold dust to make it kind of look antique. And then inspired by um, Lilac Sprinkles recent tutorial for the ring. I made this little um, octopus ring. So when you put it on, it just looks like this, or you can wear it this way, and it just has all the little tentacles. And there's eight of them exactly. Three in the front here and five on this side. Then inspired by someone I saw on DeviantArt, I made this little butterfly charm. And I used some uh, rivets here to attach them onto a necklace. And then this is just black clay that I covered with some blue uh, pearl dust. And then I used paint for the details on top. So I really like how this turned out. Then I decided to make this little tiny bear um, sleeping on a moon and I used glow in the dark clay for the moon part and then I just sculpted this tiny little bear with a blanket and I hope you can see all the details on the moon because I added in like the little circles and dents to make the texture of it. So this is what the back looks like. And then I also made this tiny little bear and I put it on a strap with a little heart. So this is just a plain brown bear that you can kind of sit down like this. And it, I thought it just looked really cute, so I wanted to make it. So that's what that looks like. Then I also made another one of these Totoro charms on the little um, bezel or the little frame. And this is for a trade, so that's what that turned out like. Then because I was bored, I decided to make these two little cupcakes. So one is a watermelon cupcake, and it's really, really tiny. And I just had some leftover pink frosting, so I didn't know what to do with it, so I just wanted to make this. And then the second cupcake is this little um, doggy bone being either dug up from the ground or into the ground, so it's just a very simple cupcake like this. And then inspired by a tutorial by Sugar Charm Shop, I made these orchid flowers. So this is a kind of dark red purplish one called a blackjack, and I made this for my mom. And what I did was I put these on the little like note holders so you can open this up and clip in like a piece of paper. And then I found these really cute um, kind of pots in my craft store. So I just filled it up with some air dry clay and I textured it to be like the little um, pieces that are in an orchid flower. And I'm just waiting for that to dry at the moment so I can paint it. But um, I'm really happy with how orchid flowers turned out. I thought, always thought they were really much more difficult to make, but her tutorial was really great, so I'll link that down in the description box. 
And apart from this one, I also made two of these lighter ones and I'm gonna give them as a gift for my grandmother and my auntie who all love orchids. And these are in these little pots as well. And the next couple of charms I made using these little glass domes that I found. It's a half uh, dome, so one side it's dome, the other side is flat. And what I've been doing is I've been painting them into like eyes. And what's really cool when you use them with clay is that no matter which way you turn the charm, it kind of looks like it's still kind of looking at you. So it just gives it a little bit more realistic effect. So I made this Furby charm. And I really like how this turned out, and as you can see, it's all textured on the front as well. The next one that I made was this Mike Wazowski, and you can see the eye is made using that glass dome again. And this charm is actually pretty tiny, so the details for the teeth were quite took quite a lot of time to make, but I really love how this turned out. And then to go with it, I made Sully. And I haven't seen the film yet, but I'm really excited to go see it, so that's why I made those two charms. And then the last couple of charms that I made are these minion charms. So first I have the regular minions and I made each one with a different facial expression using the glass domes for the eyes again. So that's what they look like. And then the last that I made is um, these evil minions. And I just went to see the movie recently so I know how these guys come about. But if you haven't seen it I would really suggest you go see the film because it's really great. So I made these evil minions and they also have the glass domes for the eyes and I just love how these turned out. My, the minions are actually my favorite creations this time. So I'm going to be going away on holidays from July 3rd until July 17th so there will be no uploads in the meantime and uh, I don't know if I'll be able to get access to the internet within that time, if I'll be able to reply to comments or messages or not. But when I come back, I'm definitely going to show you guys some new creations if I get to make anything. And yeah, have a great summer everyone. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye guys.